Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer from St Matthew and St Luke's in Darlington. My name is Gordon and I am training for ordination with Lindisfarne College of Theology. Wherever you are joining us from, a very, very warm welcome indeed. If this is the first time that you've joined us, don't worry. Everything that you need for this service will be on the screen for you. There will be songs for you to join in with, there will be prayers, there will be Bible readings. Um, but as I said, everything that you need for it, to join in with this service will be on the screen for you. It's going to be a little bit different today um, for one or two reasons. Um, I'm trying to make it a bit more reflective. Um, we will, of course, have prayers for um, the ongoing situation in Ukraine. Um, and also, I want to talk a little bit about what I've been doing this week. Uh, because I have been on a placement as part of my college training. Um, but before we do that, I thought that we would have our first song, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. Bring 
This week has been a little bit different for me. Um, as part of my ordination training, I have been doing a chaplaincy placement um, the, as part of the training. They like you to think of ministry as not just as being based in a parish, but have that wider view of what is going on. And when we were choosing where we get to go for our placement, we were given a great big long list of places that we thought we might like to go. And on there, there were the airports, there was shopping centres, there was refugees, um, the police, hospitals, hospices, mental health, um, all sorts of different places. But the one I chose was prison chaplaincy. Um, prison chaplaincy has been something, has been an interest to me for a while now. And so this past week, um, and finishing today, as it, I mean, this goes out Sunday, um, I have been at Home House Prison um, here, or just outside Stockton. Um, home House is home to about 1,200 prisoners um, on various different house blocks um, with various different needs and for various different crimes. And it is a striking environment. Um, some of you may well have views of prison gained from the media. Um, most of those views of prison are written by people who have never been anywhere near a prison. Let me tell you now, prison is not the holiday camp that some of our newspapers and some of the people on our TV screens and on our radio would have us believe it is. Prison is not a pleasant pr place. Prison is a lot of concrete and breeze block it's a very austere place. Cells are small. Um, if there are two of you, the smell is not, not any bigger. Um, the, the temperature inside a cell can range from tropical to Siberian or, and, and flip overnight for no apparent reason. There is very little or no privacy. Everyone knows what you are getting up to. This is not holiday camp. At the moment, the prison is still under COVID restrictions. Um, so I'd wear a face mask wherever I went. Um, there is no chapel services happening at the moment um, because some of the house blocks are under complete lockdown. Um, 
it is a difficult place to work at the best of times but at the moment even more so but as part of all of this grimness all of this austerity I saw some things that gave me hope hope that some people would come out of prison better people there were signs of community there were prisoners looking out for each other there were prisoners although they couldn't get to chapel for services or for bible study they would organize it themselves on their wing prisoners who would just simply ask each other how are you doing building up that common humanity we have a view of <coughs> prisoners as being the worst of the worst of being somehow entirely other and yes some of them in some prisons are the worst of the worst in our society most people in prison have been convicted of a crime and so deserve to be in prison for that crime however we have to look at what is going on in our society the vast majority of prisoners have some form of mental health issue or they are on some um, they are neurodiverse so they may well be on the spectrum of autism or have some other um, neurodiversity issue that's not excusing what they have done but I, I am left wondering if we invested in mental health if we invested in helping those with neurodiversity at a much younger age would we have so many people in prison one of the, the books that we would give out as part of the chaplaincy because prisoners love to read because there's not a lot to do when you're locked in your cell for quite a long time was this one 40 stories of hope um, it's going to be my book for Lent for this year and one of I want to read part of it for you now um, because it fits in with our reading for today it's a true story about a man called John Lawson and John Lawson was born in Glasgow in 1966 his parents moved to South Africa in 1969 where his father was a law enforcement officer John's brother Alex was born in 1972 and all seemed like happy families but four years later after a family trauma John's parents split up his father remained in South Africa but John Alex and their mother moved back to Drum Chapel in Scotland which has a reputation as being one of the roughest housing estates in Europe and that's where John learned to use violence to resolve situations later John moved to Merseyside where he developed an interest and a skill for martial arts he started work as a bouncer and then moved into bodyguard work getting involved with a highly professional group of ex-soldiers from various countries who became what they called an elite team their employer would use them to clean up troubled nightclubs in which the motto was hit them hard and move on John said of this period of his life I kind of always felt I had the moral high ground I think I'd watched too many John Wayne movies when I was a kid I made a lot of stupid decisions because of that mentality working with big bands like the Rolling Stones, REM and ACDC gave John the desire for the high life he was soon involved in kidnapping men that had stolen from some of his clients embroiled in a world of shotguns, kidnapping and money he made a lot of money money was his god subsequently John ended up in prison serving a five year sentence for extortion his wife left him his home was sold and all his worldly possessions were confiscated by the state he didn't care he figured he would go on to do another job when he got released and he'd be back on top however one night in February 20, 
2005, the persistence of a Nigerian friend in prison led John to the Christian Fellowship of Salt and Prison, which is in Edinburgh. Initially, he was reluctant until he found out the meetings were stocked with sugary treats. He admitted, I thought Christians were weak, vulnerable, pathetic people. I planned to fill my pockets as soon as they were all praying with their eyes closed. John met with God that night. As other hardened criminals sang gospel songs, he wept like a baby behind the song sheet. But he woke the next day in his cell with an amazing sense of peace. The story of Jesus at the well with the Samaritan woman intrigued him. As he read, God, he felt God's presence in his cell. The following week, he headed back to the Christian Fellowship group meeting. The combination of his mother's prayer, the prison pastor, and most importantly, the grace of God, led him to change away from his old life and surrender to Jesus. Now John has realised that the greatest place he could ever have gone to was prison. He says, Prison can take many forms. You don't need to be locked up to be in a prison. There are no walls that can ever hold John again, for he is free indeed. Our reading for tonight follows on from this. It's part of Mark's Gospel, chapter 9. Six days later, Jesus took Peter, James and John and brought them to the top of a very high mountain where they were alone. He was transformed in front of them and his clothes were amazingly bright, brighter than if they had been bleached white. Elijah and Moses appeared and were talking with Jesus. Peter reacted to all of this by saying to Jesus, Rabbi, it's good that we're here. Let us make three shrines one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He said this because he didn't know how to respond, for the three of them were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and a voice spoke from the cloud, This is my son, whom I dearly love. Listen to him. Suddenly looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. God meets with people in unexpected places. Jesus, with his closest friends, were climbing a mountain when Jesus was revealed to them in this new way. Back in Jewish history, Moses had given them God's laws. Elijah was the most famous of all of Israel's prophets. And Jesus is identified as purer and greater than all who had come before him. And they hear the voice, the way once again, just as at his baptism, God describes Jesus as his much loved son. So as you come into this coming week, Jesus will make it possible, Jesus makes it possible for us to enter into the presence of God. In this coming week, where do you think that you will meet God? But more importantly, where will God meet you? Amen. Before we start our service, a piece of music which was recorded by the, the choir at the Church of St. Martin in the Fields in London by Thomas Tallis, who was um, a composer in the 1500s.
So we come to our time of night prayer. Night prayer is traditionally the last prayer of the day said in monasteries and convents around the world. Our service tonight is adapted from one from the church in New Zealand, Polynesia and Eritrea. You could say the words that are in bold together. The angels of God guard us through the night and quieten the powers of darkness. The Spirit of God be our guide to lead us to peace and to glory. It is but lost labour that we haste to rise up early and so late take rest and eat the bread of anxiety. For those beloved of God are given gifts even while they sleep. So as we come to the end of another day, another week, we bring our days, our weeks to God and recognise God's presence with us now. My brothers and sisters, our help is in the name of the eternal God, who is making the heavens and the earth. Dear God, we thank you that for all that is good, for our creation and for our humanity, for the stewardship you have given us of this planet earth, for the gifts of life and of one another, for your love which is unbounded and eternal. O thou most holy and beloved, my companion, my guide upon the way, my bright evening star. We repent the wrongs that we have done. So we bring to God those things for which we are sorry, for those things for which we are ashamed. We have wounded your love, O oh God, heal us. We stumble in the darkness, light of the world transfigure us. We forget that we are your home, Spirit of God, dwell in us. Eternal Spirit, living God, in whom we live and move and have our being, all that we are, have been and shall be is known to you, to the very secret of our hearts and all that rises to trouble us. Living flame burn into us, cleansing wind blow through us, fountain of water well up within us, that we may live, love and praise in deed and in truth. Amen. Eternal Spirit, flow through our being and open our lips, that our mouths may proclaim your praise. Let us worship the God of love. Alleluia, alleluia. The psalm set for tonight, Psalm 23. Dear God, you sustain me and feed me. Like a shepherd, you guide me. You lead me to an oasis of green to lie down by restful waters. You refresh my soul for the journey and guide me along trusted roads. The God of justice is your name. Though I must enter the darkness of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a table before my very eyes in the presence of those who trouble me. You anoint my head with oil, and you fill my cup to the brim. Your loving kindness and mercy will meet me every day of my life, and I will dwell in the house of my God forever. Jesus said, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. 
Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who abuse you. Do good and lend nothing, expecting, lend expecting nothing in return. For God is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful, as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. For the measure you give will be the measure you receive. So we have our next song, Be Thou My Vision. Into your hands, O God, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth and love. Keep me, O God, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Preserve us, O God, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in your peace. Praise be to God, I have lived to see this day. God's promise is fulfilled and my duty done. At last you have given me peace. For I have seen with my own eyes 
the salvation you have prepared for all nations, a light to the world in its darkness, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to God, sustaining, redeeming, sanctifying, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison. Christ, have mercy. Christe eleison. Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison. So we come to our time of prayer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have promised to hear us when we pray to you in faith. As we come to the end of another day, another week, we give thanks for our weeks, our days, for the places we have been, the people we have met, for the joys and the pleasures. For it's op- their opportunities. We also bring to God the pains and the hurts from our days and our weeks. For those people and those situations that have left us hurt or afraid or angry. for those people who we have left hurt, afraid or angry. We pray particularly tonight for the people of Ukraine, the people of Russia, We pray for peace, for an end to hostilities. We pray for all those who will be fighting on the front lines. We pray for those who will tend their wounds. We pray for all those who are separated from loved ones because of this conflict. For those UK nationals who are in Ukraine as they do not want to be separated from their loved ones. We pray for those who will be refugees and asylum seekers from this conflict. We pray for the refugees and asylum seekers from around the world who will make their way to this country. We pray that they may be treated with dignity and respect. We pray for those who are in prison, for their families and friends, for prison staff, particularly our prison chaplaincy staff. We pray for those 
who work to rehabilitate those who have committed offences. We pray for our probation services. We pray also for the victims of crime, for those left fearful or hurt by their experience of crime. We pray for all those who we know to be in need of prayer for tonight. For those who are sick at home or in hospital. For those who will care for them. We pray for our mental health services. Particularly for those who specialise in mental health issues in our children and those in adolescence. We pray for an end to the stigma which surrounds mental health. We pray for all those who mourn, for those who never had chance to say goodbye to their loved one. For those who regret their last conversation with their loved one. Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. And we pray that by the mercy of God they may rest in peace and rise in glory. I'll leave a space for you now to offer your own prayers to God. If you wish, you may want to type them in the comments below. Finally, we pray for ourselves for the coming week. That wherever we are, whoever we are with, we may be witnesses to the transforming love of God. that through our words and our actions other people may become witnesses to that same transforming, transfiguring love. So we say together, Eternal Spirit, Earth Maker, Pain Bearer, Life Giver, Source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe, the way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world, your heavenly will be done by all created beings, your commonwealth of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread we need for today, feed us. In the hurts we absorb from one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. 
for you reign in the glory of the power that is love, now and for ever. Amen. I will lie down in peace and take my rest, for it is in God alone that I dwell unafraid. Let us bless the earth maker, the pain bearer, the life giver. Let us praise and exalt God above all forever. May God's name be praised beyond the furthest star, glorified and exalted above all forever. Be present, Spirit of God, within us, your dwelling place and home, that this house may be one where all darkness is penetrated by your light, all troubles count by your peace, all evil redeemed by your love, all pain transformed in your suffering, and all dying glorified in your risen life. Amen. O God of love and mercy, grant us with all your people rest and peace. The divine spirit dwells in us. Thanks be to God. So I hope you have enjoyed our service this evening. Our next service online will be on Saturday um, at three o'clock when I'll be leading uh, a family service um, here on Facebook and on YouTube. Um, if you um, would like your own copy of this book, I will place a link in the service description. Um, it is 40 Stories of Hope, How Faith Has Changed Prisoners' Lives. Um, published by Prison Hope and CWR. But I will, put, I will put a link in the description to that. Um, coming up um, this week, um, Lent starts. So on Wednesday, we have our Ash Wednesday service here in church at 10 o'clock. Um, and then we're into the season of Lent. Um, we don't have a Lent group this year. Um, we are continuing with our Alpha course, which is on Tuesday evenings at 6.30, I think, but I will post details for that in the service description. Details of that will also be on our Facebook page. If you don't already, please do um, like um, our Facebook page, follow us on Facebook to keep up to date with everything that's happening here at St. Matthew and St. Luke's. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, please do um, like this video, please do share this video, leave us a comment. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook, on YouTube, please do like this video, leave us a comment. Um, please also do subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to be notified whenever we post a new video. I'm trying to think, is there anything I need? No, I think that's everything. Um, so I hope that you have a good week. I hope that you have a safe week and that you'll be able to join us again soon. Son of sparing, sent him to die.
take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul. Shall fill my heart, then shall I bow.